Hi parents, it's Kelly Pfeiffer with Think It Through Parenting. I'm a positive discipline lead trainer and in this video I will share with you eight positive discipline tools that you can use instead of yelling. So I've got these positive discipline tool cards. These are awesome. So there's the book that Jane Nelson wrote, Positive Discipline, and then she developed some tool cards with Adrian Garcia. So if you are interested in the tool cards, you can order those at positivediscipline.com. Also, you could get them as an app on your phone. I think it's $2.99 a one-time purchase. But here are eight things you can do instead of yelling. Number one is this card, control your own behavior. Easier said than done, I usually say. So one way to control your behavior is take some deep breaths. Think before you speak, count before you speak, or you might want to do card number two, take a positive timeout. So timeout and positive discipline is a little different than the traditional timeout. So timeout and positive discipline means you calm down. So kids can use a positive timeout to go calm down. They just take a break and then come back when they feel better. And Parents can use a positive timeout to walk away, go do something until they feel better, and then come back and try again. So that's number two, take a positive timeout. Number three idea to use instead of yelling is offer your child a limited choice. So limited choices mean two choices that are both acceptable to you and both respectful to the child. So limited choices aren't, do you want to get in the car or do you want a spanking? Um, so the child would not perceive the spanking as respectful, so that's not really a positive discipline limited choice. So a positive discipline limited choice might be, do you want me to lift you up into the car seat, or do you want to slither like a snake to get in by yourself? Another limited choice for a young child might be, do you want to slither like a snake into your car seat, or do you want to jump up like a bunny? And if you have a three or four year old, I promise these will work. Now, if you have an older child, you might want to have some different limited choices, but those are some examples. Another positive discipline tool is ask curiosity questions. And curiosity questions usually, usually start with the words what or how or when. So what do you need to do to get into your car seat? What would help you get your homework finished? Another alternative to yelling is this card called Eye to Eye. Lots of times we are yelling from across the room and it's more effective if, if instead of yelling, we put down what we're doing, walk across the room and get positive eye contact with your child. Now there's plenty of negative eye contact going on between parents and children in, during frustration situations but this is put your hand on your child wait for them to look up from the video game or whatever it is that they're doing get eye contact and then say hey it's time to get your shoes on and get in the car what would help you or how many minutes do you need for your video game we can set the timer whatever it is that you want to ask them get their eye contact first another alternative to yelling is Decide what you will do instead of getting into power struggles. And I love one of Jane Nelson's examples about this, and it's um, about laundry. So mom could say, I only wash laundry that is put in the hamper. If it's left on the floor, I don't get the laundry out of there. So if you want your, your laundry washed, it has to go into the hamper. That's deciding what the parent will do instead of what the child will do. And it takes a lot of pressure off you as a parent once you decide what you will do because you actually have way more control over what you will do than what your child will do. So I will only cook in a clean kitchen. I see snacks have been eaten all day and they're not cleaned up. I'll start dinner cooking dinner as soon as the snacks are cleaned up. Now I will say only decide what you will do and say things that you're willing to follow through with. All right. Next alternative to yelling is just to start hugging your child. It is hard to still yell and hug for both of you. So this works uh, for some families, doesn't work for other families. That's why there's so many positive discipline tools. I love this because 
not every tool is right for the right moment or for the right family, the right parent. We have lots and lots of parenting tools. There are 52 of these awesome tool cards with tools that will work in many different situations. And I have number eight idea instead of yelling is to not talk at all. Use a silent signal. You can point to your watch. You can create a certain signal that you and your child only know so that when you do this, that means we're leaving in five minutes or whatever it is. Um, you need to get your homework together to go out the door. So you're not going to talk with silent signals. You do something that is not verbal. So then you won't be yelling. You might be doing it extra big so that your child sees, but that is another tool to use instead of yelling. So I did this video to give you a sample of positive discipline tools that you can use in the moment instead of yelling. And a couple of these require some planning ahead, like the decide what you will do. But there you go. Um, Every parent's different, so you may have uh, liked a few of those more than the other ones, which is totally fine. Positive Discipline has so many different tools to choose from, and I wish you a lot of progress and energy as you go forward in the next week and work on changing something that you're yelling about and deciding what you will do, maybe one of these eight tools. So just pick one thing you've been yelling about and decide what are you going to do instead. Maybe you want to rewind the video after you're thinking about this one specific issue and then here are the tool cards. Also, you might want to go to your app store and get the tool cards there for your phone because you can get that in just two more minutes. You can have all these tool cards on your phone. So again, I'm Kelly Pfeiffer with Think It Through Parenting and I'm a positive discipline lead trainer and I love helping families.